Well, we stay with Zimbabwe and uh, political activist uh, Josfat uh, Mzatra Ngulube, who, is, who fled Zimbabwe and is currently in South Africa, is currently seeking uh, refugee status uh, at a local police station here in South Africa. This after being followed by unknown people this evening. And he joins us now on the line from an undisclosed police station in the country. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Um, uh, tell us what, what's been happening this evening. Uh, good evening, Peter. It, uh, it's just right in the Kangalore. Actually, I'd gone to, to, to give my niece, not all, the one was abducted on the 8th by the... the not the, all. The, not all of my post. Where she stays, I'd gone, to, I'd gone there to give them food. They are hiding in different places. So, unfortunately, when I arrived there, there were cars that were parked by the, by the, the heritage. She then told me that last night there were people who were knocking on the door. So when I came out, when I came out from the apartment, I decided to check them out of that apartment for security reasons. So when we were leaving with an, an Uber taxi, we were followed by an Isuzu and a, 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 a Toyota for two months. The car, the car was flashing on us. Then we realized that the car was following us. Then I, I told the guy to increase the speed. Then instead of we tried to make a U-turn, then the, the, the Fortuna car, which was still following, did a U-turn until we went to a, 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 a red rope, 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 rope where we made a U-turn until we flipped them out, until we went to a police station right here, the police station right now, a local police station for safety, because actually I was hit by other guys uh, in, in, the, in the morning today, that the, 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 the team that is handling me, after the interview that has made with SAPC, actually exposing uh, the president, what is the between the issue of Kukurawondi, that we are President Nangagwa, is what is the guy who has lived in the Kukurawondi, the, the mass media revolution during the, the, the 1980 in Kukurawondi. So it seems like these guys are now following me because just to alienate me. There's a team that is following me. They told me one of the guys told me that there's a team that is, here to, that is following me to, to, to alienate me because they're saying I'm actually exposing the president with what he is doing. To us. All right, so these uh, people, they haven't approached you, they're just following you. It, it sounds like they want to intimidate you, frighten you. Um, are you fearful that it could uh, escalate? Yeah, it's, actually, I just took it like a, it was just like a joke. When one of the guys, you know, they say the system is for us. Like now, we've been actually told that these, the guys who have been attracting people have been exposed by Professor Kenapa Moyo on Twitter. We saw the pictures of the guys who have been attracting people. So now the system is divided. Some of the guys, they, they are naked me to say that they are guys who have been sent, the team that has been sent to come and eliminate me. Like, you know, in South Africa, they are saying jokingly, and South Africa, there's too much crime. It would be just like uh, one of the people who taught me and, and showed me. So it seems like these guys are very serious in eliminating people. They don't address the, 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 the crisis that we've got in the moment in the country. And they just want to eliminate those people who are raising their voice against human rights at least in people. Have you seen and experienced an escalation in this kind of intimidation? I mean, Crossing borders and being harassed, even in South Africa, must be quite scary. But uh, back in Zimbabwe, uh, where your niece has uh, just come from? Yeah, what I, I could say is that uh, it's, it's actually, I'm, I'm not actually not in in South Africa. You remember the times when how Jonathan Moore Jonathan Mo lost um, uh, his daughter in his refugee. He also lost. Uh, his, two, his two nephews in South Africa here. So it's like this fight is possible for these guys to do anything in South Africa because they've got a lot of agents who live in South Africa. So it's not very, it's not safe. Actually, it seems that these guys, they now want to eliminate people. They, uh, they are not able to negotiate for a better solution for the country. All right, so you must be feeling very unsafe now. Um, what, what have the authorities said that they can do for you? Yeah, I've spoken to them for security. I'm still waiting. I'm still left. I should have a meeting with the Brigadier for the issue on this on the security issue because it seems like these guys are all uh, uh, they are all off. I don't know whether they are using phones or what to try to trust me or maybe they, uh, my phones are bad or maybe they I don't know maybe they trust my Facebook or WhatsApp thing. But because it seems like they're still following me. I 
don't know whether it's going to work because I'm still using the phone that I was using on the back. Maybe it might be a camp around for, 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 for the issue of tracking. Uh, 